Welcome back, guys, to the CSG Podcast. What's up? Hey, so I'm back again in my room. Um, live with it. So with his J's uh, behind him. Yeah, with well, my J's behind me. My 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 privilege. I'm a privileged boy, and I have J's. Um, anyways, welcome back to the podcast, gaming podcast. Here, where we talk about games, the industry, things that are going on, and funny and uh, philosophical ways. We get deep over here, real deep. So deep. Uh, so deep. Anyways, uh, so we'll start, as we do every every podcast where we're playing, David, are you still playing yeah. the same stuff? Are you moving on something else? What are you playing? Let us know. I, I'm i playing Fire Emblem, Three Houses. On Switch? On Switch, yeah. Okay. I, uh, I mowed my sister's yard and she gave me 40 bucks and Ooh. I found a, a GameStop here that had it used, so I bought it. And it's dope. It's a lot of fun. I love like that like strategy game. I also like... Like it has an element of what I like from sports games, like building up people because you can like train them in certain classes and depending on the student, they might have something that's like a, they call it a hidden talent, but it's not hidden. It's not like you have to discover it. It, uh, You you get to see what it is and you just have to train them a little bit with like reduced XP for a while. (laughs) And then once they, once you do it enough, then it boosts the XP that they get in that in that category um but yeah it's it's fun it's long i've been playing it for a a lot and i haven't even beat the a first playthrough yet and it's a game that you're designed to to play it multiple times because there's multiple different um houses you can be the professor of and then the story is different or changes so have you played the other? Have you have you played any of the, any of the other ones on handheld? It's kind of like Persona. It's just like it's like I just didn't have the opportunity to play them before, and now that I have, I really like it. Was but three houses? Was three houses on 3ds? Or was that on the Switch as well? No, Switch only. So so this isn't so when you're playing. What's it? What's it called? Fire. Wait, is this three houses? houses? Is three? Oh no! Wait, there was another one. Fire. The, the three one houses. on the 3ds was Fire Emblem. The one that got popular Something. was Awakening, but then they came up with a couple more. Yeah, Fire Emblem Awakening. Well, there's but Conquest, then, but that's like a Dynasty Warriors game. No, there's another ones. They made more afterwards that were still Fire Emblem, traditional Fire Emblem. We we were at GameStop when when they came. Or I was the only I was one I remember is Awakening out. on the 3DS. There was even two versions of it. There was two versions of it too. I don't remember the name. People, let us know down in the comments. I know I'm not crazy. Um. But anyways, I was glad to hear you're having fun, having a good time with Fire Emblem. Yeah, yeah you're going to be busy with that. You will and then be I busy. started school, so we'll see how much time I have Oh, now. well, there it goes. So we'll never finish the game now, guys. Con- yeah. Confirmed. Probably um, not. Well, I'm just playing near. That's pretty much it for me still, just getting through that. I haven't even beaten the first playthrough yet still. Um, I haven't had much time as I, as I normally do because uh, the first two days of the week, I've been out doing um, work functions. Um, that my job is my job has been hosting um, for the press for the first couple of days of the week. So kind of have my evenings taken, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, I haven't even finished the first playthrough yet. There's four you're supposed to go through because there's four endings in the game. Um, but I'm wanting I'm wanting to do some of the more laborious stuff in the first playthrough, like um, get some of the get all the fishing trophies out of the way, do um, get all the weapon stuff out of the way or as much as I can do out of the way. Um, because you can do it in a, in a big early playthrough, and there's really no difference between doing it now or in a later playthrough. So I'm just going to do it now because I'm pretty much at the end of the game. All I have to do is like I think that just go to the final bit of the final boss area, like section of the game, and then I'm finished with the first playthrough. So, um, yeah, we're now I'm just at the grind. The grind is this is where it becomes an RPG. There are some grindy ass trophies in this game, man. So I mean, I've done it before. Final Fantasy 13, even though that's not like everyone's favorite, that man, there was a grind in that game as well. And uh, I did it, so I can do this too. Um, so that's all I've been I believe playing. in you. Uh, so I, I looked I, it up. I, thank you. I Googled it. So oh. Awakening was in 2012. Yeah. Then they had Fates. Okay. And then they had um, Echoes, Shadows of Valencia, which was a remake um put on the 3ds it was on the wii I okay. believe. can you look up can you look up fates i think fates might have had two different versions 
Let's see. Fates. Fates is a tactical role play game on the three head of It developed intellectual, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Conquest and Revelation. Yes. That's the one. That's the yep. one I remember. Okay. Yep. Yes. Right. Okay. Um, but there was one after that, a remake. Okay. I didn't know about the remake. Um, anywho, we've, we, we have discovered that we have solved the mystery. Thank you, you Detective research. David. Detective David for sleuthing, sleuthing his way to the answer. 30 second Google search. Thank uh, you. Hey. Wikipedia. Hey. My source is at Wikipedia. Detective David on the case. He's on the case. Don't worry yeah, about I it. I got sources at Wikipedia. Um, anyway, so before we get to so today's main thing is going to be covering Gamescom. Now, I know it was like on Monday or Tuesday, so you probably saw some of the shit. Um, but if you saw a trailer, you were – you. I know you haven't. But uh, <laughs> for a lot of people who might have saw one particular trailer of one particular game, that came from Gamescom just in case you might have been wondering because uh, I, I, I forgot because I was going to watch it. I don't know what you're talking I was, about. It's the it's the it's the big gaming convention in Germany. No, Cologne, I know what games coming. I I don't know oh, what this. Oh, sorry. The one trailer for the one game you're talking about. That apparently, no, not seen one. Me. There's a couple. There's a few people be talking about. Um, gotcha. Anyways, if you saw something that you were hyped for this week, it was probably from Gamescom because they showed a, a fucking boatload of trailers. So many fucking trailers. It was a two hour conference, and man, I I was like, oh my fucking gosh. Um. That's what we want to see yeah. is, is just it, games. It is, but oh my gosh. But here's the thing. No, almost none of it I cared about. So like that's what kind of made them boring for me because I did not yeah. care about most most of what was shown. Um, anyways, so that's me the main thing. But real quick, I wanted to bring up, did you just hear yesterday Sony's raised the price of the PS5 in some, in yeah. some regions? Except for I the saw, US. so I was watching um, Game Ranks Friday video where they do news, mm. and they were talking about that, and they talked about um, EA maybe being acquired by Amazon. Oh, but then they said that they're not doing it. They yeah, confirmed this morning that that's not happening. But um, yeah, but anyway, so. but the PlayStation price 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 increase. So um, I saw the numbers. I don't remember the numbers. You can look it up. But it's, I know the UK was impacted. Euro was impacted. I think Japan as well. But the US wasn't. Um, and I was just wondering if you heard about that. What you might think? Do you, do you think Nintendo and Xbox might do the my follow? Well, Nintendo won't, but you think Xbox might follow suit? I mean, possibly. Even, it it definitely has to do with the the continued. Distribution yeah, we we know what is is because of yeah the semiconductor which, shortage which and I think is some other harder, parts. which which are made a lot of the parts that they're short on are made in the U.S. That's probably why it hasn't affected us. Um, well, the semiconductor isn't. That's made overseas. I thought it was built in. Are you sure? I thought the chip because was because it's been a shipping error. It's been not error, but a big error. thing has been has been <laughs> error error one on one error. Um, shipping issues because because the COVID is still a big deal over in Southeast Asia and other you, yeah. know, you know like uh, island island nations over there, which COVID is still very rampant over there. Um, way more so on the western side of the world, and so a lot of factories and stuff are closed. I know this because my job we have. Um, an arm of in Southeast Asia where they make a lot of our gloves that we sell. And that's why we know because we, you know, we have to keep up to date with it. And I believe the semiconductor is made over there or somewhere overseas. So uh, uh, Sleuth, Sleuth David added uh, again. David, David's back on the case. As of 2021, only okay. three firms are able to manufacture the most advanced semiconductors. Uh, TSMC of Taiwan, Samsung of South Korea, and Intel in the United States. Okay. Well, then out of the five, well, so out of the five, only three can make the best one. And then out of that three, only one is the U.S. So, I mean, yes, the U.S. is involved. But in fact, the U.S. Much. semiconductor companies do the majority of, the, of their manufacturing in the United States. Gosh, damn it. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that answers that. Um, well, I, I don't know why I keep hearing about shipping issues then. Because that's what I've been seeing the most. I mean, there's probably actually. still shipping issues for some stuff, but at least at least it's a lot of it's manufactured. Okay. Here. Well, that answers that. Then Dave, Detective David on the case once again, proving me wrong. Um, but that, that's why that's that's what investigative journalism is for. Anyways, um, Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I was wondering. So do you that's think why Xbox investigative might... journalism is dying? It's because I yes. can just Wikipedia shit. <laughs> so do you think Xbox might do the same? I mean, yeah. If, if so, they have more money. We talked about that a ton of times. Which you love. 
uh, another one to, to the bingo cards, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> For David bingo oh, card. <laughs> Microsoft has more money. And there is something to be said about like you want your price of your product to be stabilized even if you have to take a loss. So um, it depends on how long the shortages last. It depends how long this recession or whatever they're calling it lasts. Yeah, um, this current whatever the fuck it is at the moment. Yeah. 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 Recession, recession like. If they're not going to call it a recession, we'll call it recession like. It's a recession like. It's the new genre out there for a global economics, yo. Check yeah. it out. Quarter the Q4 game, 2020. The game no one wants to play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The game no one wants to play, uh, yeah. but anyway. So I, I, I think it's it, it's possible. It just depends on how long. I think that I think that they probably don't have to, um, just because of how big they are. But I mean, if it lasts too long and and prices keep skyrocketing on the stuff that they make it for, then there's a possibility. Of course, you can also scale back and not sell as many. Um, they, they have options, but it'll be interesting. I, I don't think they have to. I don't think that it's imminent just because we, we tend to look at, you know, I, you know, I don't because I'm always, you know, digging on this, but we tend to see Microsoft and Sony as equals, which they are in a lot of cases, but in their financial backing, they are not equal. They are, it's like a major league team versus like, a, a double a team okay they, i wouldn't compare it that much i would just say it's like the best triple a or best major league game or team against maybe the least best major maybe league team. i guess yeah but it's there's a wide margin we're talking we're talking a big, if we're, a, a, if we're a looking at balance margin. sheets probably and i would actually you know what i honestly because because you keep reading this up i honestly want to look at their 2021 balance sheets oh there goes detective david on the case again I don't know if he has his headphones in or not, but um, I honestly want to go Sorry, and I grab lost my wife the twenty. Out of the house. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I actually want to go grab the twenty twenty one balance sheets for Xbox, for Microsoft, and Sony as a whole, like as a whole company, right? Because obviously they sell more things than just systems, and actually see what the disparity is, so we could finally see is it is it double A to Major League or is it just Major League to well, a less I Major mean, if League? We just you Google, know, thing, so if we just Google Sony look Network. At David, no, here's the thing: well, Net Worth is not. I don't know if I want to look at Net Worth. One hundred and four billion. Wait, hold on. Look at their market cap. Google right. their market cap. Sony That's actually market a good. Cap. A good yeah, market look that up. cap. That's a good one. Uh, yeah, the same thing. Uh, one hundred four. What is it? One hundred four point eight billion. Okay, and then 8 Microsoft. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, people. <laughs> oh, he's laughing. That's not good. He's laughing. That's not good. He's if it, if he says trillion, I'm gonna be so mad. If he says trillion, I'm gonna fucking lose it. <laughs> Two two trillion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. So a little bit, a hold little on. bit more. Like, so it was one hundred and eight. It was like two hundred times more, almost. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. One hundred and eight. Okay, it's almost two hundred uh, times. A million, hundred thousand. Okay, divided by two trillion. So two. And then, <laughs> and a bunch of million, fucking zeros, million, thousands, zero. Oh fucking hell! Yeah, almost two hundred okay. times. It's five percent. <laughs> it's five percent. So what we're saying is that Microsoft could buy Sony for five percent of their worth. <laughs> <laughs> That's like. That's like okay, okay, all right, all right. So let's pretend we're buying a car, right? And I make forty. Let's just call it forty thousand. All right, what's what's five percent of forty thousand? Probably like five hundred or something. Let me see. Five percent of forty thousand. Let's say I make forty thousand in a year. Two thousand. That would be like if I went to the used car lot and bought a two thousand dollar junker car. <laughs> Not as okay, obviously not the exact same, but I get your point. Anyways, we're gonna move on. Well, before David before David has a fucking stroke of laughter. Oh, okay. uh, so we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on to Gamescom. Yeah, we're gonna move on to Gamescom. 
<laughs> that happened. So it's not going to be – we're going to go – this. there was a, like two hours. It was two hours of so much because – so and and so I wrote down a couple of notes and some of them some of them I didn't write anything because it's like some of these trailers were like really short too and they really they didn't really show shit about the game they were just like here's a new concept art for this game they were making it probably won't be out for like two years I mean everything was given a 2023 release but like seventy five percent of the games are going to get delayed so um anyway so I'm going to go in the order that it was shown and I remember I don't probably don't remember half of these games but anyways. So the first one was called. It's called. It's a game called Everywhere. It's just. It's literally called Everywhere. Yeah, I saw. I saw and something for that. Not. They didn't show much. They didn't really do much with it. But they said that it's not supposed. They're not trying to make anything even remotely conventional or normal. Yeah, it was something like they. They were looking to like do like almost like in the trailer you saw like first person shooting. You saw racing. You saw like, like yeah, fucking yeah. everything. I don't, we, so I don't know. It might be just a genre bending game or something. I forget who made it. It's 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 by I I, I I I think it's the guys that did. Uh, is it the guys that did? Uh, uh, build a Aquatica? rocket. Build a rocket boy is the developer. Is it? Um, what's that? Is it Aquatica? Is that the game? Is that is that what it's called? Aqua. They don't Anautica? have. I forget the name of it. It's that fish. It's the it's the one in the water wiki. and shit and all that stuff. Um, How am I supposed to do investigative well, journalism when they don't have a wiki? A lot of it, a lot of it is indie. A lot of these games were like kind of more smaller developers, so they're probably not gonna have a wiki. Um, anywho, so that was the first thing shown. They did have the de- like, they did have the devs on on the stage to kind of talk, but they did they did not say much. It was kind of pointless. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Dune Dune is getting a game. Which is interesting. Yeah, I saw um, that. I, I saw know, that. I jumping on that. Jumping on. Jumping on that. On that. On that hype. Um, but it's going to be an open world survival MMO, which that suits the setting for what I understand of Doom. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's supposed to be a giant ass desert. You know, I mean, everyone talked about you know the movie. Like, one of the joke was like, you want to see sand for four hours because like <laughs> it's just set in a giant fucking sand dune. So honestly, that makes sense. Now, however, the game will come about, we have no idea. Oh, it was just a cinematic trailer. So, but at least I like, but I think that's the right genre for this game. And mm-hmm. so we'll see how it goes. Um, but that was the next thing. And then um, PlayStation is getting his own Elite controller. They're taking their shot yeah. at it. Uh, it's called the DualSense Edge. And I'm about not getting it. Time. I'm not getting it. I don't give a fuck I, about it. I think um, I think we talked about this when when I got my when I got my Elite controller is yeah. I wouldn't pay the hundred and eighty dollars for it myself, but at the same time, if I had, I've, when I've gone back to just I don't even use the fucking because I don't play online games anymore, so I don't even use the back paddles anymore. But just the weight difference and the feel and the quality feel of it, it would take me a really really long long time to feel like I wasn't playing with a shit controller if I had to go back to a normal controller. Hmm. I I mean, I, it, 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 I, no. I very much enjoy my Elite controller, even though I'm not using 90 percent of the functionality. It's still the quality difference is crazy. Yeah, I mean, and we'll we'll. I mean, they we they they didn't show them off much. They did mention you know back paddle stuff, customizable buttons and all, mapping and all that shit. The, the usual what you would expect from something like this. Hmm. But you know, they didn't. We don't know if it's gonna have if it's gonna be like extra weighty. If it's gonna have. You know, it, I didn't really see much about the paddles or the handles or anything. I know that was a big thing where Xbox is, you know, it was like it, it like was um, conducive, for, you know, against if you sweat a lot or whatever, it helped against that. So, you know, really, a really grippy um, handles and everything. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, they didn't even give a price for it. At least I didn't, I, I, they, they did, I didn't see it. I like the design of it. It looks kind of cool. The kind of two-tone colors that they have with it. We'll, um, but again, I have no need for something like this. Um, we'll see how it goes. I, they didn't really need to do one back on the PS4 era because like it's, they did, it just didn't really matter. And I don't think the audience is like clamor something of this as much as the Xbox audience might be. So, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see it. We'll see how how it plays out. I if it's more than 150, I think it's not going to do well. But we'll see. I don't know. I mean, I would I would expect it to be in line with the Microsoft one because their normal controllers are. Um, well, their normal controllers are a little bit more. But uh, I would expect it to be like 180, if not more, because they have the the dual sense um, and the trigger technology well, in it. Let's hope not. 
Um, but we'll see what happens. And after that, we had a Callisto protocol was shown off. And this one actually had some like a more in-depth look at the combat. And it was confirmed because I remember seeing that game and I was like, this is literally just like de- this is just dead space. But like, I guess for next gen consoles and yeah, I mean, because, they, never, they never shot away from it. <laughs> well, that's because the same devs who made dead space are making this. And I didn't know yeah. that at the time. Yeah. And so I was like, OK, now everything they make sense. But um. So, so they're trying to take the dismemberment feature that was in all the dead spaces and kind of take the ne- take do the, like the next level of that. Mm-hmm. And they have a thing called mute, mute, mutation, and where if you don't kill enemies fast enough, um, they'll just mutate in front of you. And it, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, 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 I think they showed it. Like, where like he shot off. I think like part of the face of some monster, but he didn't kill it outright, and the thing mutated back the damage that you had shot off. Um, took it took i mean granted it did take he didn't do like instantly or anything it's not like it's an instant regen but if you don't you pay the price so it does so with that it kind of does you know um encourage a more aggressive play style which is interesting because there's also plenty of stealth that it wants you to take advantage of too um the stealth actually reminded me exactly like last of us the way the dude crawled and everything just re- i was like am i looking at joel right now because it looked that similar joel, which is not a bad space, thing in space dude, that'd be cool joel in a fucking like say shit dude that'd be kind of cool anyways um so that was actually some they actually showed us some good stuff i mean it does look pretty dope i'm not gonna lie to you and i have been thinking about getting into the dead space series just because yes it is horror and it's scary as shit, at least the first one for sure like scary as shit and everything but like i do like third person games and there is also a really good narrative following along this game too and so i might give it a shot i might play for halloween with travis or something um we'll have to see uh so yeah, this one looks like a really good coming out. I think in December this year, I think. Um, but yeah, it's looking really good. I hope it does well. You know, we can always use really good, solid narrative focused horror games that aren't from fucking itch.io and well, from, and and, know, and another place. thing too, like we need a we need a spiritual uh, spiritual successor to like actually do well because they have not in the past. <laughs> Um, so having one that actually did well would be nice too. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. It looks pretty good too. I'm not going to lie. Um, I think they were using next gen hardware to capture the footage and it looked, it looked pretty solid. It did look pretty good. I'm not going to lie. And I'm usually pretty jaded on that shit. Um, the next thing which caught me off guard was, um, so does anybody remember a little title called Lords of the Fallen? <laughs> because I do. I do. Um, so it basically is like it's a baby souls game. So like if you're trying to dip your toes into the souls genre, this was one of the more recommended games to play because it does. It is a full featured game. Um, it, it's trying to go for triple for AAA. It kind of hits the mark, but not exactly like it's not as in depth as any souls game, proper souls game. But there's plenty of weapons. There's three different play styles um, that you can choose from when you start the game, which does change how you interact with enemies i'm not gonna lie because i played all three um and the bosses they look cool they're kind they're not the most diverse as far as like what you you need to what you need to do with them um but it's still it's not a bad game per se there are much worse out there but when it came out there was talk about lords of fallen 2 but then it went under development hell forever forever and then honestly i thought it was just dead I thought I was gone. We were going to get one. And then eventually it came out from the ashes and it just changed developers. We were like, oh, okay. I guess it's still alive. And then they showed off a fucking trailer at Gamescom. Um, but it's called The Lords of the Fallen. Ooh. It's not called it's not called Lords of the Fallen 2 or The Lords of the Fallen 2. Just nope, just Lords, The Lords of the Fallen. So I don't know if this is going to be a sequel, a prequel, its own thing. But like maybe in this just a shared universe no idea it was just a cinematic trailer and that was it it doesn't even have the same main guy that the game followed the first game followed um which is for my honestly in my opinion better for the better because i didn't even really care about that guy like at all i I didn't get two shits about him like yeah he apparently he was like forsaken by the gods or whatever whatever the fuck i don't know it didn't matter um so that was (laughs) the the little cover thing that they have on on images looks like a Fucking ring wraith from from Lord of the Rings. 
David is just, he's just in investigative journalism mode this whole podcast. Like, I can hear him clicking away. He's just looking shit up. I don't know what he's looking for, but he is just, he is just in so detective since, mode. So since I didn't see anything, I want to, I want to, you know, at least, you know. Oh, he's trying to get, get he's trying to get, for okay. It. All yeah. right, all right, I feel you. Um, so the next thing was uh, Moving Out too, and I, when I saw that, I was like, has David played this with his wife? I have. Because this looks... All right. I, know. Yeah. I was like, this game looks exactly made for David and his wife. Yeah. Um, so the sequel's coming out. You probably already knew about it then since you played the first. Um, I actually yeah, didn't. Sequel coming. We, we, oh, played sequel it. Coming. we played it, but it wasn't as great for us as, say, like, Overcooked, Overcooked. was. We might play it again. Who knows? Like, we, we, got, we, we started playing a lot of games during COVID because yeah. – what else the fuck COVID. were we going to do? Um, <laughs> yeah. And since then, just with our lives, we haven't had a chance to really play anything. So, Well, it, the sequel's coming. It's just pretty much – it, I don't know much about it. I, I've heard of it. I, it's, it's a fun little co-op party it's game fun. moving yeah. out together and stuff. Um, yeah, the sequel's coming. It's kind of like when Overcooked 2 comes out. It's like, yeah, same shit, just <laughs> more of it. You know, It's like, cool, great. I'll see. I, I want it, but I'm not like through the moon. Yeah. Um, so that was next, and then they did a big old trailer showcase of Hogwarts Legacy, um, and you know what, dude? The more of that game I see, the less impressed I get. Yeah, and I, 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 I mean, it's still Hogwarts, so it's still gonna have that whims that you know that that like you know fantasy. Oh man, like you know whimsical kind of feeling, you know that mm-hmm. shit. But like when I look at it as a game, as a game, I'm like, I'm just, I'm, I haven't seen anything that has blown my mind yet at all like it doesn't even it looks it looks okay it doesn't even look that great honestly um i don't know if they've been showing us last gen footage or next gen footage but it does not look that great um i don't know what's supposed to be like a interconnected world or something like an mmo esque or some i don't know um but they 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 had it where they showed off this little mini conflict with these two students and a teacher and it followed them through the trailer that and they actually did show a little bit of gameplay but like i don't know if it's like it does the game or are these two characters just random generic characters that they made for this trailer or like are they actually in game like do we deal with them are they the main i don't know like i have no idea but it's just the more i see of it the more i'm just like this is going to be just a fucking bare bones standard ass game that's just my opinion on it. I know people, and honestly, it's because it's Harry Potter. I'm sure that's like what's making people excited because it's Harry Potter, and we have never had anything that even seems like it might be a good Harry Potter game because all they've been based off of the you know the movies. And since and since this isn't, there's hope that it could be good. But honestly, what I'm seeing is I, I don't know. I, I I just haven't I haven't been blown away. I want to be blown away. I would love for a bomb ass Harry Potter game. I would play the crap out of that. But from what I'm seeing, it doesn't look good. The, the com- combat, if you want to call it that, um, d- it seems fine. Does it just? It, I don't know. I haven't seen anything that's just blown me away with any mechanics or features or or how it looks, aesthetics or anything like that. So I'm hoping it it gets better. It's supposed to come out next February now, um, and it, we'll just see how we'll see how it goes. So, so, that, so you ready for some some more uh, hard hitting journalism done by a single Google search? Look at this guy. This guy is just out here, man. He is out here with it. Uh, uh, Hogwarts, this is from their official website. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy is an open world, single player action role playing game set in the 1800s wizarding world. The story has players experiencing life as a student of witchcraft and wizardry uh, like never before, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, this is that stuff I knew. Yeah, so I knew some of that stuff. This is before. This is set before, and it's single player, so it's not going to be an MMO, and so it has to be story driven. Um, okay, so that was okay. So that's been that's been confirmed then. Customized, single player customizing game. character, your main character. Um, there's there's a whole bunch of que- question and answers, but yeah, I mean, so, some of the stuff I some of the stuff I knew, I like, yeah. like, but I like, I didn't, I I forgot if it was MMO or not. I forgot that. So okay, thanks for that. Um, and I guess we confirm for sure that it's you will be playing as someone you make, but those two characters that they showed up the trailer could still be in the game for all we know. Oh yeah. Um, so they could be pivotal parts of the story, but it's just, I'm still like, from what I've seen, 
so far for the little that they – because they haven't really shown off that much. So from the little that I've seen, I have not been impressed. And just I, because it's, Hog- it's Hogwarts does not make me all of a sudden through the moon. Yeah, for- I mean I – it obviously could still be terrible. But I am I am glad that they've – like it, it, it's a world that has a lot of potential, which is nice. Yeah, it does. Um, and – They've they've separated it from the series entirely. Yeah, like which, which is any, good. Anything we've seen before, because it's yeah, you know, at least a hundred years before um, mm-hmm. anything we've we've seen. So uh, I don't know. I, I I agree. The graphics haven't looked all that much like all that great, but like you know me and graphics. I'm not. I'm not. I don't need the amazing graphics. It looks comparable to. Um, what we've seen out of like, in it looks my like Fallout Four, yeah. No, nah, I mean, no, it's better than Fallout Four. The graphics are better than Fallout Four. I would say, like, honestly, I would say, uh, freaking um, Horizon Zero Dawn on the PlayStation Four. Like mm. that's that's what the character models remind me of. It's not mm. it's not realistic. It's not ultra realistic. It's more. It's definitely a video game, but it's mm. it's got and it's got some texture problems. But I think if you put those two face to face, it it's pretty similar. Honestly, I think Horizon looked better. Maybe a little bit, but I, I would You're say saying, it's not that far. Even if, but even if they're but even if they're comparable, that's still not good because that game's five years old. Yeah, so no, true. That yeah, yeah. so that's still a, that's still a bit of a of a diss. But here's the thing: like, I'm not trying to be like a, a fucking graphics connoisseur or anything but it's you just know, i you know, i feel muggle, bro i <laughs> i'm a fucking mudblood i'm a filthy mudblood um not even a mudblood it's just man. You're not a even <laughs> you're fucking muggle. um no it's just it's just i feel like i'm i'm i have the right to expect a certain level of you know graphical rep- representation and it's just especially when you see examples where they do because like i saw callisto protocol and i saw that shit and that shit looked phenomenal. That shit looked pretty good. Game, and then I if that's it. actual and game, you know as good well as anyone. That was okay, but I'm just saying though, they, it, that was actual gameplay. But what we saw in the Hogwarts thing looked like a a, a, a pre a, some kind of a ma- a pre done trailer yeah, cutscene thing. Yeah. And that and those are supposed to look better than gameplay. I and you. that didn't look better than the gameplay. So I'm just saying, like it's just, I'm just saying. It didn't look that good, but it's just also. I mean, you should watch the trailer when you have a minute because it's a couple minutes long. You should do it later, not now, Mister. Do Detective. it now. Um, not now, but um, it just when you see it, when you see some of the little shit that they, do, it doesn't, it just doesn't look like it's gonna blow your mind. And like that's what I wanted. That's what I was hoping for. Like it says, this is like you said, this is Hog, this is Hog, Harry Potter world. Like for those who know, which a lot of people do, like the lore of it extends uh, centuries. It goes so far back, and there's so much that they can do with it, and it's it's it just seems from what we're seeing, it just seems pretty bare bones to me. So I'm hoping we get to see more that fleshes everything out more. We can know more about what the actual gameplay itself, and see if they can be pushing the pushing the boundaries and some shit. Because so far, I have not been impressed with anything that I've seen. But anyways, after that, um, some good news for David. Um, new Tales from the Borderlands was properly shown off, even though it was leaked a few days before. Um, but it was properly shown off and it was confirmed that it's going to be a completely new story and completely new characters, which is a fucking shame. I was so pissed to hear about that because I liked Reese and Fiona um, and the other people. I liked them. People liked them. They were cool, likable, fun characters. And they're just it. I'm hoping they come in. It's like they're like maybe you don't play as I hope they have some tie in because they were awesome. Yeah, I mean, they in these games, I mean, yeah, they're not made by uh, fucking Telltale. Telltale anymore, but Telltale does have a history of bringing in known characters, either from their old past titles or from the stuff that it's based off on. So I, I think there's a good chance we get a callback. I so hope so least. too. At least something. Or like maybe they tie in the stories to get like maybe at the because like you know at the end of for those who don't know spoilers is coming be prepared it's coming I'm warning you spoiler they're coming that was your warning anyway so at the end of the game you've like they find another portal 
that they're going to go fuck around with at the very end of the game. So maybe, hopefully, maybe when you get to the end of this new one, they fucking they, they finally show up. Boom, here they are. And like it like intertwines the two games together. That's what I want because I really liked Reese and Fiona. I really did yeah. like them. And like we just got the love, little love thing with Reese and Fiona's sister, which was awesome because it was a mixed race couple. And I am absolutely a simp for that because um, <laughs> Because I mixed race too, and so um, yeah, it was, it was a shame when I heard about the new. Oh, I'm not okay. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm oh not. yeah, no, he's not. No, nah, absolutely not. Not even unless you want to mix two different shades of white. Um, but yeah, anyways. Uh, but that was showing up more properly. I mean, but we kind of knew about it, and it's kind of it's the same old shit, you know. It's it's, it's, it's gonna be telltale. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be funny. Um, it's I mean, it looks pretty good. It's it looks like it's taking the exact same look as um the uh, Wonderlands or whatever game and slapping it on there. So it's gonna be a good time. I'm sure it'll do well. I'm just hoping recent feeling will show up sometime, some way. I, that's all I care about. I don't care about anything else except for that. Um, so that was shown, and they did a quick thing for the Dying Light Two DLC um so i mean that that happened like i said this is kind of they they show up like so many little small things kind of sprinkled throughout so that was kind of just briefly mentioned and shown so it looks like it's like an arena dlc which that's always fucking great um i don't know why people fucking keep i don't know why they keep people like no one fucking likes just arena dlc like i don't know why they do it's such a fucking cop out it's such a cop out but then they make the trophies and achievements so fucking hard too that's the worst part anyways i'm just i'm just ranting some pirate game called tortuga a pirate's tale tortuga. was very was very briefly shown it was just like this game exists we're making it okay cool and that was it but that was done some game called marauders is coming out uh, I don't. I don't remember. It was so fast. I don't remember anything about it. Uh, it's going on early access. Okay, great. Look it up on Steam. Um, Destiny Two expansions coming. Uh, yeah, Destiny Two expansions coming. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Um, and then they showed the People trailer for Sonic Frontiers. Yeah, I know, right? For Sonic Frontiers was a big old trailer shown for that, and I'm just. <laughs> So I'm not a big Sonic fan. David isn't. We're not Sonic. We're not huge ass Sonic fans by any means. Um, I'm not like any. I'm not like blown away. I'm not like looking forward to Sonic Frontiers or anything. But you know what? After seeing that trailer, I am going to be very curious to see how it how it does because they are taking an open world concept for the Sonic game. Yeah. But this, but it's like, but you still have to keep that sense of speed and momentum that Sonic is all about. And an open, I, I don't know how this is going to work, but I, I, I almost want it to work. I mean, I mean, here's, here's the thing. So here's the thing. weird. Do you feel like you're going fast when you play like Horizon, uh, um, Forza Horizons? You do. I mean, so it, it can happen with cars. So why not with a blue little hedgehog thing? <laughs> They just, you know, add, add some add some blur lines, you know, the ability to walk and not just run. See, that's what you have to do is you have to put it put him at two different speeds. So, you know, he walks around and then maybe you press a button and he's going all speedy, you know, so that there's just two different speeds that you play at. But now the, the real the real thing is like, yeah, you can run fast, but it's the combat speed that is. Like, you don't want to slow anything down for combat. Combat needs to be the fast thing. And that's where Sonic... I mean, they, they, showed, they showed off gameplay, proper gameplay. And, like, it's like he only has, like, four attacks, right? Because he has to do all them with his spin. Because he doesn't punch. He doesn't kick. He does... He spins. And so, mm-hmm. like, it's just... It, it, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I do appreciate that they're doing an original story without... At least, like, at least what we're seeing so far. Eggman has not shown up so far. He is not. I'm sure he. I'm sure he will, but he has not yet. And it deals with like this weird ass alien chick looking thing that I'm sure is going to be all over fucking deviant art when it comes out, because um, they love that Sonic artwork. Anyways, um, so that was shown. Like that was kind of shown. So it'd be interesting to see how it how it goes. I hope, like, I hope Sonic interacts with like the other make the other cast of the of the Sonic game as little as possible. And focuses it just mainly on Sonic as much as they possibly can. Um, so I think that would be very different. Because like they always do that. They always bring in the other characters and make everything I'd be, so I'd be fine with Tails and Knuckles. 
Tails, yes. Tails, Tail, maybe. Yeah, Tails, Knuckles, I guess. Um, but none of these other fucking, that's like, it. the big thing that fishes and shit. Big thing. the cat. Big It's Big the cat. Yeah, yeah the piece big, of shit. Like, all these other um, guys fucking leave them alone. Well, in the trailer, they showed off. They, Amy Amy was in it, and she was trapped. And, like, Sonic had to, like, do some shit to rescue her. But they didn't show anything else beyond that with her. So I, I don't know. I just, I just hope that they're not main parts of the story. Because... I think when you can focus on just on Sonic, I think you can get more out of it that way and really show more internal struggle. That's more inflect self inflective rather than always like, gotta feel my friends, gotta go fast, you know, and just that bullshit that we see in every Sonic game. So we'll see. Again, I'm not even gonna play I'm not playing this shit. I don't care. But um I will be very curious to see how it does. And I do actually hope it does well. Just because it'll it, Everybody will be shocked if it does well. No one is expecting this to do well. I promise you, nobody is, because nobody ever does. Okay. Um, so yeah, well, that was shown. So that was the next thing. After that, some game called Under the Waves was shown, and all we know is that it's a cinematic. It's a more of a cinematic title of sorts. I now I don't know. That was about us. All I all we got. And then and then and then and then and then and then and then. Goat Simulator 3 came out yeah. <laughs> or was shown. Uh, game of the year, everybody. Mark my words. Game of the fucking year. Um, if that's not showing off at the at the December... Wait, I don't know if it's coming out this year. I think it is. If it does, that game better be at the gas damn um, uh, Game Award show in December or I'm going to fucking flip a table. That game is going to be so, so good. Have you ever played it, David? Have you ever played I played the, the first one? one a little bit, and it was very yeah. much like a this. This is what I do. Yep, this is what you do. Okay. Um, I'm honestly thinking about playing that with Travis on the channel because he knows about it and he knows how stupid it is, and of course I do too. And um, it might be make me for some stupid, hilarious fun. The fact that they that they honest that they skipped the number two and went to three just that's all I need. That's that's really all I need. Oh, did life. they really just? Yeah, they, there was never a two. They just went to three. <laughs> well, I'm looking. I'm looking at the at, at some stuff on Google. It looks like maybe they spoofed the the trailer for Dead Island Two. Well, that's coming. That's that's coming. That's coming, David. Shh. God damn it! You and your investigative journalism. <laughs> um. So anyway, so that was done, and then they did Return to Return to Monkey Island was shown off. So for those who aren't old enough to remember uh monkey island was was um a, a long series a long-standing series on the pc way back in the 90s early early mid 90s there was like several of them they i don't know if it was the same game but they had a telltale did a series of them actually um way back on the ps3 360 era 360 era so those came out and then they actually did a proper remake of the first i think the first monkey island i don't know when but uh, that came out. But anyways, it's a long series, like during like the golden age of PC games, like when Lucas Arts was, or yeah, Lucas Arts was like at the top of their fucking game um, for PC titles. But um, they're bringing it back. I don't. I think it's a brand new title. Um, but here's what here's the thing I want to bring up with this is that when I was watching it, I was having a thought in my head. I was thinking, this is what ukulele should have been. And I know I talked, I bitched about this last week. I'm gonna bitch about it again because that game pisses me off. So, because this is a this is also a bit from a time way back in the '90s, way back in the day, from a golden age of, of gaming for PC, and you know, Luke Lely, they're trying to recapture the magic with Don with um Banjo Kazooie during you know Rare Rare's golden age of gaming on the on Nintendo consoles. But this game does what I think Luke Lely should have done. It were like it's it's finding a way to bring in that cap capture the essence of what people who play those games remember, but modernizing it in certain ways that are pivotal for modern gaming for a modern audience and even the jokes that they're trying to do are better than the, any joke from ukulele uh because monkey island was also known for its humor uh, yeah. self-referential self-referential referential humor at that actually which is the same thing as donkey kong or donkey kong uh banjo kazooie now ukulele but their jokes were actually like i mean i wasn't laughing gut-wrenching or anything but the, what was being said but like it was making me chuckle a little bit that, that was more than anything from ukulele i didn't laugh at a single damn joke that they ever did in that game um so it's just like i yeah like this is this is what i think it should have been but it's, it's too little too late but was, i just wanted to rant about that because i will rant about ukulele as much as i possibly can and then a new game was called called moon a moonbreaker was showing off and um 
Oh, this is the Subnautica, guys. So, interesting game. It's a tactical game, like a XCOM, but you control board pieces. Oh, yeah. Character board this. pieces. Yeah. You like, and at first I thought like, oh, it was just like some kind of thing just to show them for look. But, like, no, 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 no. Like that was gameplay. Like it's it's just stationary pieces, yeah. like a regular, like a fucking tabletop game. Yeah. And but you control you control their emotions, uh, their attacks, and what you know their grid and everything, like you would an XCOM game. But you're just playing with like tabletop board pieces, and it's made from the guys that did Subnautica. Um, you would expect it from those guys, but they like to do games that aren't anything like what they did before. They See, like genre hopping. And, and so, I would like, I would love for it to be like, like almost like, and I can't, I don't know. I'm looking at pictures, but like a character creation where like you get the piece and then you can, because you, you paint tabletop pieces. Yeah. So like you yeah. can paint your own, the thing that would be, that'd be kind of a, a unique twist maybe maybe, maybe you can, i mean they, they didn't show too much but like and they said they, they that they painted all the pieces that are available in the game themselves yeah. um, to get them in there like they actually did all the hand painting them so i think they used some kind of machine they didn't like you know actually fucking paint it and then get in the game they painted it with whatever thing on a tablet or whatever um but regardless they you know they, they did that for all that shit which is which is crazy but um, it was just like i mean it's not my game but like it was very different and I can respect that. It was something way out of left field, but looks pretty cool. Looks aesthetically pleasing for sure. Very colorful, very vibrant. And for those who like tabletop games or like tactical games or both, like David, he loves XCOM. You know, might be might, if I'm sure if it, if it goes on Game Pass, David will probably check it out. Oh, I'll I'm probably, sure for sure he'll he'll check it out for sure. Um, so that was pretty cool. And also the name Moonbreaker is a hella cool name. Um, so that was done. And then they did a um a new game was called Friends versus Friends. And it's, it was really quick, but it looks like it's a, a battle royale type of game. Um, but it's like, but everyone's an animal. Everyone's some kind of an of a, of a anthropomorphic animal of some kind, and you just kill everybody. You just, <laughs> just kill and killing everybody. Just, they're trying to kill you, you. You kill them. It's it's a first person shooter style. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of what that game was. So, all right. And then the first game that I'm actually excited of, excited for, um, out of everything that was shown, was uh, Lies of P. The Souls like based off of Pinocchio, which yeah. I am very pumped yeah. for. Now, it actually does excite me, and only because I do like it. It's not because it's a Souls like or anything like that, but it's because I love it where a dev takes a game based off of a, off of a usually like a cheerful or childlike or whimsical IP, and makes it dark as fuck. I love that shit. Um, it's part of the reason why everyone fucking loves Alice Madness Returns because it took Alice in Wonderland. I mean, granted, that wasn't really that childlike or anything, but it, it but kids loved it. As, we, we loved it as growing up, but they made that shit dark as fuck. And it's been, I, there was actually, there was, there was this PC game where they did that with Red Riding Hood, which apparently didn't do well, but it was interesting that they went that route with it. But I just yeah, like it when they do that. Yeah, always taking stories where you, it's like, an established thing and then you put a twist on it is always fun crazy twist like not just a what it's you might what, think but like it's what way fan, out of it's what fanfic field. was made for yes yes it's basically making our fanfics come true so it's like if they took pokemon and made it adult themed like like just dude give me that give i don't me, know what give fanfic, me five of them. i don't know what fanfic give me. you're reading on the dark web <laughs> Adult adult <laughs> Pokemon is basically what it's you just what said. That's what no, you just said, adult. though. Like, you just said adult are... <laughs> Pokemon. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with you. Um, <laughs> but anyways, that was showing off. They actually showed off some gameplay. I actually watched that trailer like before I watched the Gamescom thing. So I already knew about it. Super fun. I just love the... I don't know where they're going to go with this. Oh, no. He's trying to become a boy. Like a real boy. I think. He's still, they're still keeping that story. Um, yeah. And he needs to find, he needs to find Geppetto. But like I just I'm just super pumped for it. I hope it does one. I hope it does well because I love it when they I, like I said I love when they take IPs that we already know but totally change how it, how we thought it how we think about it. So now, I was done. Now and then imagine it, yeah. now imagine if imagine. if Disney if. actually is forced to put Mickey in the public domain and then we get a Mickey Mouse Souls like game. We will. I, that we absolutely will. That would be probably the first thing we see if that happens. That would be the very first thing we see. Um, so then, so after that, they showed a game called Stranded Alien Dawn. It's some kind of survival game of some kind. They didn't really show much about it. Some kind of sci-fi survival game. And then they had a game called Atlas Fallen, which is by Deck Thirteen. Which I was like, I know that name. I know those fucking guys. And they, um, their most credited work is they did the Surge. 
that more sci-fi robotic souls like game you remember mm-hmm. that yeah they did that that's like like one of the best works um but like uh they're they're under the focus entertainment umbrella so they make like they they'll, they'll they usually don't make games that are wonderful by any means but mm. we'll see how we'll see how this one goes um and then home world 3 was shown off but not much and then this other game called honkai star rail was shown but there wasn't much but it's an anime game like an anime style game it's like a, but it's like taking place in like in the future some kind of really crazy futuristic setting it looks the little bit we saw looked like in, interesting i just want to know more about it um the name is kind of kind of cool actually honkai star rail oh, but um yeah i don't know what's going to happen with it we'll see but they didn't show much but that was that was interesting and then uh something david would have enjoyed uh the high on life game made, made by the Mor- uh rick and morty guys yeah. gameplay was showing of that and honestly bro the shit that those guns say is is is, yeah. is hilarious yeah. is, is fucking hilarious I'm like to so, that heavy game pass he was using the, he, so the dude was using some gun. It was just saying like, you know, we can be friends or whatever, saying some funny stuff. But then he pulled out a knife, and it had like a fucking Australian accent. It was like, let me get her, let me get out, cut out right in the north, <laughs> right in the neck. I'll get her, let me get out of. Like, and it just reminded me of Kano from Mortal Kombat. Like, I was just thinking of Kano. Literally, I was like, you have Kano in your hands, and he just he just kept saying how much he just wanted to just like just let me do it. I'll do it. I'll fucking cut her. I'll do it. Just let me get at her one try, one second. I'll do it. And he was like, you know, you could throw me right. You could just throw me right at her. I'll just I'll get her. Like this, they're saying the fucking stuff, funniest shit, which is fun, which is interesting because it's really nice. It so it's like it's a way of it's kind of genius because from what we've seen so far, the character doesn't talk, but the talking counts from all the weapons. So it, in a way, gives you agency. When you normally don't have any, right? Because mm-hmm. most like Fallout, for instance, before four, you know, and other games like that, where you just walk, you just do shit, and then you, the talking comes through the text boxes and the people talking to you, but you never talk to them. And so this kind of it kind of eliminates it, kind of like for people who don't like that, it kind of gives you an answer in a way because your your weapons will talk and give you feedback instead. Um, but they can but it can be funny mm-hmm. and crazy because they're not you still. So it, it's, it's kind of genius. I, I I think it's really dope. I do like that idea. Um, and that, so that was really shown. If you want to see more of it, David, go ahead and watch the trailer. You and Black, it's, it's so dumb, but it's so great. So that was shown. And then um, The Expanse was shown off, which is the new game from Telltale Games. The same dude's Walking Dead, Batman, Game of Thrones, Tales of the Borderlands, like we talked about. I, forget, um, I keep on forgetting they, they that came they back. revived. Yeah, I, I was thinking about like, I was like, who brought them back as a full company? Like was it was it the um because I know it was I forget the name but um some uh movie arm or entertainment leg of a company helps get the last season of Walking Dead out and I guess I think that same company might have actually worked to actually bring them back well, properly. Robert now. Kirkman's company um, uh, finished was that okay? That's what tell, it was. Yes, finished Walking Dead games. Okay, it was that guy then. His his company helped um get it out and I but I don't it might have been them. I'm somebody else. But I was just thinking, like, who brought them back? I know they were back, but I remember I don't remember who. Um, but anyways, this is their new game. It is a more of a sci-fi space setting. But um, they didn't really show. Like, I would love to see to see gameplay, just proper gameplay. Um, but it, they are they do understand the one thing like that we talked about. I think we talked about this, but the one of the big things that Telltale was having a problem with. One of the reasons why they went down was because. They kind of put themselves into a box with what kind of game they could do. Mm-hmm. And and part of the problem was that even though the devs had realized it, the owner of that company at the time, he was just like, no, we'll just – we'll it'll eventually pick back up again. Like, we'll fucking – you know, it'll work. We can keep doing this. It'll work. We'll, he wanted to ride that ship until the fucking ground with the type of game that they did. And so um, obviously it didn't, it didn't work because they kept, getting, they kept getting diminishing returns with the more IPs that they kept doing that with. Um, the only two that I think actually brought a profit was Walking Dead and then Batman. Even Wolf Among Us didn't even bring it. Didn't bring yeah, it. That's more niche. But um but yeah, but so it was just killing him. So they recognize that that is the case. So they still want to keep it kind of that point and clicks, you know, thing that they used to do, but finding ways to push that, push that further. So the next level of that of that genre, and so what it's going to look like, look like I don't know. I could not tell from the trailer, but I am excited to see what they do because yeah, that was like their biggest issue. And you mentioned you mentioned that many times to me off and and, and on camera 
was like, yeah, like that genre doesn't doesn't really pertain to everybody. Like, and it's like, yeah, the stories are always great, but like, if it if it's not fun for me to get to that end of that story, I'm not going to fucking do it. Most people are not going to do that, and so I'm hoping. I mean, listening like they are at least acknowledging where that issue is, like where their bottleneck is, and I'm hoping they can they can come they can overcome it. Uh, so yeah, that was that, and then they showed off Killer Clown Killer Clowns from Outer Space, which is a movie I didn't even know. It's a it's yeah. an old eighties you know slasher film from you know campy as hell, but you know has like those that cult following from those who watched it. But interestingly enough, it so it falls along the lines of DVD Friday Thirteenth, all that shit. But or but um, it's a three v seven rather than a typical one v five or whatever like we've been used to. Mm-hmm. And so I'm hoping that that actually brings new life into that genre of horror game um, because we haven't seen that before. And mm-hmm. so, yeah, I mean, we'll see how it goes. I mean, obviously, it's not my it's not our style of thing, but I'm hoping to see hoping to see if it actually can, you know, revitalize that genre, stir, stir some more renewed interest in it, because I think three v seven can actually mix things up quite a bit and provide for more things that you just couldn't do otherwise. Uh, so that was that. And then it showed a game called Scars Above. Not much was shown about it, but the note I wrote was that it's basically Laura Croft in space, and I want it. Because the chick you play, or the chick it seems to be they're focusing on, who I imagine you play as, reminds me of Laura Croft. And so I'm like, cool, Laura Croft in space. I want it. Um, and then a game called Word Song was brought in. And it's made by guys who worked on um, a lot of the Bethesda um, and Bioware games. Uh, so I don't know much about it. They, it wasn't really a huge ass thing, but that'd be interesting. So keep your eyes open for that because I mean, those guys. I mean, Bethesda, you know, but and by Bethesda, I mean Fallout, um, Fallout game specifically, and I think Skyrim, maybe Oblivion. But you know, so those guys know what they're doing. So I'm hoping to see more of that stuff as time goes on. And then um, Age of Empires four, they showed off the latest DLC. Nothing too exciting there. And then they did a big old bit on Gotham Knights. Um, everyone's just <laughs> pumped for Gotham nice to come out. Um, I hope it does well. We'll see how it goes. Um, I don't really know. Man. I don't have really. I don't have really any feelings about it. I but feel we'll like see how it's it going to be the next. The next like, um, fucking uh, Marvel, what? whatever that Marvel game was. Marvel. Oh, um, the tactical one. No, not the that. That one hasn't even come out yet. Midnight Suns. Yeah, I don't think oh, it's I, come I, out I don't yet. know. So what? No, Marvel, Marvel, the the Marvel, fucking one that had all the microtransactions and Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. No, Marvel. Oh, Marvel Avengers. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one. Oh, the one yeah, I can't, just, just call, yeah, Marvel's Avengers. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's fucking yeah. I think it's gonna be that. I think it's gonna be that, but Batman. So like, you there's think gonna, so, huh? You really think there's so? gonna be people who play it, and then but it's gonna be mostly forgotten. Well, let's hope not. I mean, because I think the big thing was that the game was – it didn't have much meat to it. Well, Avengers, that is. It wasn't much meat to it. And the end game was repetitive and boring as hell. And then you bring on the fact that, like, yeah, it was microtransaction to all the fucking hell. And so we'll see what happens. I mean, this game is just four characters instead of fucking six to worry about. So I'm hoping that helps, you know, consolidate and make the story more more easier to, to handle. Um, but we got to see Harley, Harley Quinn finally. Yeah, I'm in the trailer, and she looks exactly like Margaret Robbie, which is funny. But I mean, it's to be expected. But it's just it's just funny to me. It's what else. people know now. Like that uh, is Harley yeah. Quinn to a lot of yeah. She is she now. is Harley Quinn. She is Harley Quinn apparently now. Uh, but yeah, but all, I, I, what I didn't know is that Jim Gordon's dead in this game. I didn't know he Jim was Gordon dead too. I knew Batman was dead. Possibly Batman. Uh, pop, it, no, Batman is dead. They said it. He. I know he's not actually. He's probably not actually he's dead, not. but. He's not. He's like, I'm honestly, not yeah, I'm expecting him to show up like at the end of the game. He's like, oh, Batman. Dude, I, like, would oh, be, I'm not, I'm I would be surprised if if, yeah. if Batman isn't found by like mid game. Well, here's the thing. I, for those who didn't play Arkham City, and here, spoilers coming. Be prepared. Spoilers coming. I'm warning He's you. a brand new um, character. <laughs> In Arkham City, when they actually did for sure, when they actually did kill Joker, I honestly expected the same thing like you just said. Like, nah, he'll just fucking come back. It's no big deal. I, yes. I, yeah, he comes back in night as flashbacks and other th- shit, but he's still but dead. Yeah, he is he's actually dead. dead. He is he's dead, dead, dead. And but that then, threw but me then off they guard. Did. They couldn't even. They couldn't even fucking commit enough to that without bringing in Jason Todd. 
Like they were, they were like, uh, they, I, I feel like they really freaked out. I feel like the plan was to kill off Joker and bring in a legitimately new villain. And oh, because isn't Jason Todd the Arkham Knight? Yes. And then, okay, yeah, and, yeah, then okay. and then probably the fucking execs or whatever was like, oh, we need somebody people know. And they were like, uh, Jason Todd. And like, why? Like, like it, not only is it not what you said it is, which is they said point blank a brand new, never before seen character, which I guess technically the Arkham Knight was – but then he just turned out to be the Red Hood, who turned out to be Jason Todd, uh, and everyone fucking saw it coming. <laughs> like it's not even like they tried to hide it. You were like, he's really angry at Batman for no reason, and has you know has all this training and and resents Batman and kind of looks like Batman and wants to be Batman. Who 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 already did that before? Oh yeah, Jason Todd. It's probably J- oh look, it's Jason Todd. <laughs> like, <laughs> so I can only imagine that that's the same thing that happened. Is like I bet these I bet these 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 de- developers when it was like we're gonna kill off Batman, we're gonna kill off kill off Gordon, and we're gonna you know we're gonna be this new thing, and then his ex kid are gonna come in and be like, yeah, but like Batman makes money though. So you're gonna have to put him back in the game somehow. Like, I would oh, be extremely man. surprised if you finish that you know, game and Batman is not alive and probably playable. You know it, what? With the, I don't know if it was an Arkham Knight. No, sorry, if it was an Arkham City or Origins. But one of them had had that actually new character. He he. he sorry, his name start start with an A. It, Azazel? No. Oh, you know Azazel. What I'm talking about? Um, and, and, and I remember, and I remember people thought people thought that the Arkham Knight might have been him because he actually was a new character. He was actually new, like or at least somewhat new. Like he was like the new Wist. Um, but then yeah, when I found out it was Jason Todd, even I was a little, a little disappointed when I found out. Not because I know Jason Todd or anything, because I don't. I'm not actually well versed in much um, comic book history, but I know that yeah, name, Azazel know first appeared in 1992, so no, he is not new. Is uh, just, well, new wish. He is just as far as not as far known. as Batman's concerned. He's new wish, and yeah, he's still relatively unknown though by probably he, most of the of the fan base. Except he for the was in artists. Batman. He was in Batman. Uh, like his 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 first appearance was in Batman. And well, he still could have. He still could have been. I mean, I think he might have been a better choice though. At least he's still at least somewhat yeah, ambiguous. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm not um, I'm not denying that, but it's just it's really hard for these publishers to like do something new and original with a actually established new. Yeah. IP. Like they just can't fucking do it. <laughs> you know, Pokemon is yeah. always going to fucking yes. be Pokemon, no matter how much we want it to be a different adult game. themed Pokemon for my fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> I just want um, to be two Pokemon, you know, yeah, you know, that's all. You know, it's it's, it's 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 not weird, guys. It's not weird. Okay, I just I'm want a doll Pokemon. We're moving. We're moving on. We're almost done here. There's a they few. Put, there's a they few put more. Put games. A game in there, they put a move in there called Smash. I don't. I don't know what you're not seeing here. We're moving on. Uh, the next game, which the next game, which is the second one that I'm actually really pumped for, is called I need Where to do Wins a husband Meet. Thing, so you keep talking. Where I'm wins meet everybody? Husband either. It's it's kill, killing a killing a bug. Go away. Um, where wins meet everybody? It's a it very is a, adult husband thing. Gosh damn it! I can't Can hear I... you, RJ, but I do see you. Don't glare at me. Don't glare at me. You're just jealous that you don't have someone to come kill your cockroaches. He's glaring at me. Okay, I'm back. Because I couldn't even talk to her because she can't hear, and so like I can't even tell her to like. <laughs> I can like like. Can I just talk, please? Like I just. I couldn't even do that. So, anyways, where wins meet everybody it is the second game I'm actually looking forward forward to. It is a Chinese set RPG. I don't know if it's going to be Souls like or not, or like Neo or anything like that. 
but just the fact that it's like some kind of cool martial arts based RPG action RPG set in China, which is you know a bit of rare if it's not a fucking you know Dynasty Warrior game. Um, it's gonna be kind of cool. I don't know what setting of China, but it's it's Chinese, which is which is cool because I mean I mean we all love Japan, but like it's it's nice to look at other history from China or Korea or Taiwan or something like that. It's really cool um, to kind of see more of history than just the fucking Sengoku period. Um, but the coolest thing about it, you can fucking walk on water. You can run on water like Jesus. Like Jesus. <laughs> like Jesus. Dude, that's Jesus. the best. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, that is the most hype shit I've ever seen. I'm so pumped to walk on, run and walk on water. Dude, th- this dude, like, th- dude, th- th- what they showed, he did like a, he, he like jumped in the air and kept, just kept jumping in the air. So I don't know what's going on with this game, but it looks awesome. It feels awesome. I want to run on water so bad. Um, so that was, that was shown off. I need to see more of this in my life. Um, and then they showed off a game, Park Beyond. It is honestly, it is just part, it is just, roller coaster tycoon on steroids that is all it is so if you like roller coaster tycoon from 1997 you're gonna like this too um and then they showed up a fucking pikachu car i'm not joking a pikachu car and i moved on because that we don't need that in our lives and then they showed off uh warhammer 40k there's a new warhammer 40k game 40k game coming out it is a first person shooter game um that is also focused on co-op it's a four-player co-op uh, and you can do melee or gun combat. They're both welcome for you to do. You can do both of them. One of them doesn't matter. Um, it seems actually kind of fun. Um, a lot of for, a lot of the forty Warhammer games I'm not really into, but this one actually seems somewhat decent. Um, and so we'll see how it goes. Uh, not a lot of them actually do very well though. That's the problem. Um, it's really it's just because I kind of I think they just make it too closely just for the fans. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but that was shown off briefly. This other game called Blacktail was shown off, which is which is which is a bit interesting. So it's a game based off of Baba Yaga, the, the mythical Baba Yaga spirit yeah. thing myth. And but you play as her as a girl, like a I don't know, if she's like a teenager or a young adult, but she's like a you know a girl, like a young girl. She's not like mm-hmm. an evil old ass witch or anything. Um, but it has bow combat, and it is all about the bow combat. And you know, your boy likes the bow. Um, <laughs> It even says in the trailer, master the bow. Like that, I'm not joking. It said master the bow. And I was like, I will absolutely do that trailer. I will absolutely <laughs> do that. The issue is it's first person. And I'm a bit bummed out about that. I'm a bit bummed out. Um, Cause like, you don't get to see much like, cause Baba Yaga is such an interesting character and she's never really had anything really dedicated to her like this. And mm-hmm. so I would rather have like had more agency over her and that'd be like, actually really see how she might act not just in a first person view, but like to see how she might act in certain situations, actually see her full body animations, facial animations. I would have loved to have seen that. I think there's so much to, to learn and explore there, but they went first person with it, but I'm still excited to see how it goes, how it does. I want to see more. I want to learn more about this game because I think it has a very interesting premise that has not been explored very often. The only, I've seen Baba Yaga in two games. The first one was a DLC for Rise of the Tomb Raider. Um, which it, it you don't even it's like and it, it it turned out was there wasn't there was no spirits like some chick that was doing some voodoo shit or something and the second one was um in a the an old game I played I talked about earlier this year called Dreamfall Chapters which that one actually did address, address Baba Yaga as an actual spirit um like an old ass spirit of three different sisters which was which was pretty creepy um but yeah. So that was shown off. And then Outlast, Out, Outlast Trials was shown off, which I know a lot of people were excited for. But now that I've seen the trailer, why the fuck are you people excited for this game? Because people oh, like just the Outlast disgusting. games. No, but like those I've seen the I've seen the first two Outlast games. And yes, they're disturbing and creepy and gross, but like it it, just, it felt like there was a point still to those games. This one, it, it was literally just Saw, the movie. Just it's just yeah, Saw. Pretty like, much. It is just it is just horror. It is just gore porn. That is it. It was disgusting. I was like, "What? Are you people are insane. You guys, we got a bunch of freaks out here." Um, yeah. I'm. I. I mean, I wasn't interested in it anyways. But like, if this is where the game is gonna go, I don't think it's gonna do well because it doesn't seem like the story. Whatever story they're trying to present, I couldn't even understand it because it was just so much gore everywhere. It'll. It'll like, make it good. Just, good content. It's gonna get it'll streamed make, this shit. Yeah, for like a week, and then everyone's gonna fall off. We'll see. Um, anywho, 
And then they showed a game called The Finals. And it's made by some guys that did Battlefield. But they didn't really show really anything about it. Like, very, very, very brief. But it's called The Finals. Um, and then they ended it with Dead Island 2. Um, God, I wrote fucking goddamn finally. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we we actually they actually learned a lot about the game. It has six protagonists that you can play as. It is set in LA, which is which is cool. Which I don't know why it's called Dead Island then, because it's not an island. LA is not an island unless unless you go to fucking Alcatraz Island in the game. Then it's an island. Dead, dead but, um, place, dead state, dead place too. Um, but um, and so they the they had a dev on on hand to talk about it, and they did say that um they are they did draw a lot of inspiration from like B you know horror B, B movies of of uh, yesteryear, um but they only kind of they did show gameplay, but I didn't watch the gameplay because I don't really care. But I did see the cinematic trailer they showed off for it, and the dude that they had in the trailer was basically Lenny Lenny Kravitz, and I am all for that. <laughs> um, it was like some some black dude who had shades on all the time. He was just kind of like had a little rock and roll vibe going on with him, just killing zombies. It was pretty dope. But I thought what was kind of cool that I think might be might get missed is that the dude only fired one shot in the trailer. Everything else, he had a gun the whole time, but he only shot one bullet. And or I think one bullet, if not very less than five. Everything else he killed with his like with like the front of the like the back of the gun or with his fist or feet or whatever, blew him up some other way or something like that. But he didn't shoot that often. And I think that's really smart because this is a Dead Island survival game. You're not supposed to shoot people that much. And so I um, I thought that was kind of nice that they reflected that, even though it is a cinematic trailer. And usually you don't get a correlation between a cinematic trailer and how the game actually is going to be. But this actually, I think, did really well with that. And so I'm hoping that the personality we saw in that trailer actually does come out well when you play the game as any one of the six characters um cause I, that'll like definitely make the game a lot I, I didn't play the first two i didn't play one or riptide so i don't know if like the banter was good between the characters you could choose in those games but uh, this one i think because also since it's set in la you can have that bursting personalities with these characters because of the setting you're in and so i'm hoping that's the case but um yeah it's it's finally here it's finally here um Let's for real I believe it. i'll believe it when i see yeah. it it is kind of one of those things, though, where it's like, I mean, you say, yeah, but like, not until it's in. What was that other game that you were like, not until it is in my head? Was it Cyberpunk, was it, before that came out? I Maybe, forget. yeah. It was a game where you were just like, and then not it blew in, up in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> it was there. There was, there was also Persona 5, um, our old coworker Evan. He he's all about Persona, and he played it on day one on PS4. But like that game had been delayed all to hell too, and he was just like, at this point, it, I'm not believing a damn thing until I have this game fucking in my hands. Until then, this game doesn't exist. <laughs> so, so it's just it is kind of it's at it is at that point because for those who don't know, Dead Island Two was announced like eight years ago or nine years ago at I think yeah. E3, one of the E3s. I think 2013 I think or 2014 two, E3. Yeah, I think it was 2014. And not only that, it came out with a – wait, was it the original Dead Island? I forget uh, I forget if it was Dead Island 2 or the original one that had the dope-ass trailer where everything was going in reverse. That's the original um, Dead Island. Oh, okay. Never mind then. But either way, it was announced. People were excited. They were pumped because this was still in Dead Island and Zombie Games. This one has, this one has the guy when he's running and he's jogging and everything behind him is going to shit. And he's just oh, like, hey, hey, Yes, that's the hey, one. Hey, yes. And then he yes. turns into a zombie yes. again. Yes, I remember that now. I remember that. Um, so yeah, that. So we'll, uh, it's been like eight, nine years since we've seen that trailer, and then yeah. after that, we didn't hear anything, nothing, nothing from the devs, the publishers, and then out of nowhere, we found out uh, like the devs got changed. They had to change devs. Like I think one of them got and shut Deep down Silver or something, something else. like that. And then yeah, but but there's the thing. Like I think Deep Silver is still involved because I heard the dev mention Deep Silver, and I don't think she said that. Uh, like in a negative way or something. So I don't, I don't, maybe I just missed what she said, but um, yeah, it changed hands. And then I think it changed hands again. And then I think we have like some weird ass tweet or something saying like, we're not dead. So, Get it, joke. so listed on um, as the developers, as of right now, it's deep silver. Damn buster studios. Yeah. Is the main, is the main dev. Jaeger. Who, who was the company it switched to from Deep Silver. I remember that. And now okay. Sumo Digital. 
So that has all three of them listed. Well, I think as Dan developers. Busters are still involved. I think they're because they were the ones I think at the conference. Um, but anyways, but here's but I mean he just listed four different people. That's never a good a good thing for a game to be have four <laughs> different people that are all not related to each other working on a game. Like it's one thing yeah. if if they're like subsidiaries of a bigger of a bigger company, but this is not the case. And so, um, yeah, but it, it's finally coming. And when I think you have when you have a game dying light who arguably did it better. <laughs> so yeah. like, but here's the thing with dying light two kind of being a bit of a, I don't know, a bit of a miss. I think, um, I think there's now room again for dying for dead space, for dead space, for dead Island to come back. I, I think this is yeah. a good time for it to come back. If it can, I think it's supposed to come out next year sometime. If it can meet that date, I think this is a good time because I mean, dying light two, it just wasn't as good as dying light one. And so I'm hoping Dead Space or why are we saying Dead Space? Dead Island Two will um will fill the gap. Will fill like whatever void um Dying Light Two kind of left open for people because you know I mean because Dead Dead Island was was really just about the slaughtering of just mindless slaughtering of zombies and so we'll see if that holds true still um, but yeah I mean like it's it's cool that it's still it's coming it's coming back. Um, yeah, I mean, oh yeah. By the way, there was a quick little thing about Hideo Kojima, but it wasn't a game. It was just him having a podcast, so I just skipped over it. Um, yeah, they actually dedicated time for that. Hey guys, and, I only be, only be, and it was only because Jeff Keighley, who hosted it, is good friends with Kojima. That's the only reason why that even got announced. Like, <laughs> he could have tweeted that, and it would have been fine. But no, he had a, because they're buddy buddies. He gave some time. I mean, it wasn't a lot of time. It was like a quick minute or two. But still, like I just I, I skipped it. I didn't care. Um, but yeah, that's Gamescom, everybody. That was Gamescom. Wow, that was a lot of shit. Um, like I said, not too much I'm excited for. Only a handful, a small handful out of everything that was shown was that I was really pumped for. Um, yeah, I mean, is there anything that you heard, David, that you're actually kind of like intrigued about at all? Besides things you already do about like high on life. Yeah, just really high on life. That's that's about it. Like. I don't know. I, I'm excited for a few things coming out, but nothing that's going to be out for a while other than High on Life, um, the humankind coming to the to the Game Pass. But what about uh, Liza P though? Are you pumped for Liza P? Maybe we'll see. Yeah. I've, there's been there's been other Souls like games that have looked really cool and then just not been great. So mm-hmm. I don't know. And I'm also cool. honestly, unless it's like a Souls game, I'm kind of Souls gamed out. Like. I played I played a He's shit ton. Out. He's in souls out, everybody. Yeah, like I played a shit ton of them. Uh, you have, uh, you know, fucking um, Elden Ring. Elden Ring. So I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. If, if it's he good, is, if it gets if it gets good reviews, then I might try it. But he is good. souls fatigued, everybody. He is souls out. I, I, I'm yeah, probably because you've been playing the one genre for a while now. It'll come back though, because like yeah. I remember my. I did Assassin's Creed. I did the entire SEO trilogy back to back to back. I don't know why. I did this <laughs> back to back to back. Um, well, the games weren't mine or my buddies at the time. And I think I was, he didn't let me have them. He me, so I, I, thought, I felt like I had to finish them real fast so I can get back to them. And so I just played them all back to back. And the DLCs included and all that shit. And man, by the time I was at Revelations, I was like, Okay, I get it. SEO is an assassin and he's still here. And people like him. Can we move on, please? Like I was, oh gosh, I was so done with Assassin's Creed. Probably why I didn't. That's probably why I didn't play three for years after the fact. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I get what you're talking about. But it, it comes back. It always comes back. The itch always comes back, especially for, especially for something like Souls. Especially for something like Souls. Yeah. Anyways, guys, so that's that's today's podcast. We covered Gamescom. I know it's, it's like a week late, but fuck it, that's what we do here. Um, but yeah, if you if you let us know what you I'm most excited for if you saw any of those trailer training those games that we mentioned i know there was a lot because it was um but let's know what you're excited for is it hogwarts is it the close to protocol lies of p um the killer clown game um went where wins meet like myself or the baba yaga game or maybe it's moving out too maybe you're just excited for moving out too um yeah just let us know down below if you like this don't forget to like the video throw a comment up if you want to talk to us hit the bell if you want to see more videos um no let's see him first and subscribe if you want to see videos there you go or get notified when we do videos like this one and with that 
that's it. Bye.